In today's video, I'm going to show you how to use edge lighting on your S8, S8 Plus, or Note 8. Let's get started. Hey everybody, welcome to Tech with Brett, where I help tech work for you. And in a previous video, I showed you everything that you can do with the edge panel on your S8, S8 Plus, or Note 8. Well, today I'm going to show you how to do the edge lighting around the outside of your screen, as well as pop up notifications. So to get started, all you need to do is go into the phone settings. So here I'm going to go into the notification panel and then I'm going to go to display and go down to the edge screen right here. When you open up the edge screen, you see the edge panel setting right there, but here we have the edge lighting. So right here it shows the edge lighting is going to illuminate the outside of the screen as well as when your phone is face down, you will see a notification around the outside of the phone because it has the edge. Here if we go into edge lighting, we can change the settings. So right here at the top, I'm gonna to make sure that my edge lighting is on. And then here we can choose when we want to see the edge lighting. So here I received a notification. You can see it gives me a pop-up and around the outside of my phone, we see the lighting. So here, when I say always, that means it's going to show me that when my phone is on as well as when my phone is locked. So there we see the same pop-up and the notification around the outside. So you can choose when you wanna see that, maybe only when it's off or when it's on, you have those options right there. Then down here we have manage notifications. So you can actually choose which applications are going to show you these pop-up notifications or the lighting around the outside. So here, I've just selected a few. I have Hangouts, Messages. You can choose any application that's on your phone. Maybe I want Allo to be included in there or any other application. You can also include every application on your phone just by selecting the top one there, but we're just gonna leave it how it is right now. So we're gonna go back, and then we have one more setting that we can choose under the Advanced Settings. So in here, I can change the color that the notification will show. So right here, I can choose basic color. That means it's going to show a color based on what my wallpaper is on my phone. So here I can click preview and see what that is around the outside of the screen. I then have the option here of choosing the app color. So maybe I have like Hangouts is a green app. It will then show me a green notification where messages is orange. It will show me an orange notification. Then we have custom color. So maybe I just want all the notifications to be one color. I can come in here and choose exactly what color I want. And you can see around the outside right now, it's showing me that color as well as the pop-up notification right there. So I can find whatever I'd like to use and then I can click done but we're just gonna choose app color for now. And then down here, we have the width of the lighting. So right now it's on the widest available. And then if I move this bar, you'll see that around the outside, it gets smaller and smaller. So here it gets smaller and then it can get bigger right there. Down here on the bottom, we have one more setting where it's going to make the edge color more transparent. So here it's very low, meaning you see all the color. And then if we go this way, it's a little more transparent where it's a little more white around the outside. So I'm gonna set this right now to low, set this all the way to wide and keep the app color. There's one more thing I wanna show you before we go into what those actually look like. And on this main screen of the edge lighting, up here in the settings, you have the option for quick reply. So when you receive a phone call and your phone is face down, you can actually hold your finger over the heart rate monitor for two seconds and it will reject the call and send them this quick reply message. It's really nice, you don't even have to pick up your phone. So this is nice, especially when your phone is face down, maybe it starts ringing and you're talking to somebody, all you have to do is hold down your finger right here on the heart rate monitor for two seconds it will then reject the call and automatically send them the notification and you don't have to touch the phone at all and it gives them that text message and rejects the call. If you want to change what the message is, you just need to click right here and go through and edit it. I changed mine to all call back later. So now let's look at the different styles of notifications. So when I receive a notification with my screen on, this is what we see right here. So that's what happens when my screen is set to always receive edge lighting. But now I'm going to set it when the screen is off. So if I receive a notification now with this off, this is going to give me a normal notification. So here at the top, I can see it just gives me the drop down, uh, like the old style of notifications. So that's what you mainly want to have done probably. So make sure you come in here and set this as when screen is off, or if you have it when the screen is on, 
it's going to give you the notification up there. You can click on it and that will jump into the text message thread. So now let's look at what this is like when the screen is off. So there we can see it is going around the border. So now let's try it with the phone upside down. So you can see the colors illuminate there. And now when you receive a phone call, the colors will show up like this. And then if you want to reject the call, just hold your finger over the heart rate monitor for two seconds. There it has rejected the call and sent the response and notification. I hope this video helped you in learning all about the edge panels on the Galaxy S8, S8 Plus, or Note 8. If you have any further questions, please leave a comment below. And if this is your first time here, I'd love for you to subscribe so that you can be notified of new and upcoming videos. Also, go to my playlist at the end of this video, and when you go in there, make sure you click the bell icon so that you can be notified of every video that relates to you and the phone that you have. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.